Welcome back everyone to episode number five in our Let's Play series of Another Brick in the Mall. Where we left off in our previous video, episode number four, was we had gotten our new store set up. We had uh, specialized it in uh, entirely in groceries, which meant that we needed to specialize our remaining stores in new products since they had been carrying a lot of the same products as our grocery was now carrying. So if we come in, take a quick look here, you can see that we have a clothing store and a household item store. So now we have three stores, each of them is specializing in something different so we don't have any overlap of products. Because of that, we notice here our net profit from yesterday as the game has now clicked over, it is uh, approximately three hours into day 19. Our net profit yesterday was $18,840. So a huge increase, as you can see here from the graph. So we made a large jump there all at once. And of course, we're gonna try to keep that going. And the way we're gonna keep that going is we're gonna move on to build for our next set of products. And those we've already taken care of all of the products and have them on sale so far in our research chain. Next up will be electronics and media. These two I'm gonna to put together in a single store, or at least that's the plan. We'll see how it works out. And But first, we've got a lot of research to do on that. And rather than, of course, have you guys sit through the game time required to do that, I'm gonna be fast forwarding and we'll rejoin after that happens. However, before we do that, I do want to let a little bit of game time pass because I've got some concerns about one of our stores and that store is the household items. Right now we have, you can see we have four cashiers. Okay, and as I was preparing to do this video, I noticed something. Our cashiers don't seem to be able to keep up with uh, the demand for an entire day. So the lines start to back up. So I wanna take a quick look and see if that is indeed the case. We'll zoom out a little bit. And that way we can see if the lines are indeed backing up in any place. We can see there's a little bit of backup here now, and we're not quite to 11 o'clock in the day. And we've got multiple, yeah, here we go. So they're starting to back up as we get into 11 and 12 o'clock during the day. Well, I don't like that because of course, and in fact, here comes our alert that lets us know that we're seeing the backup. Okay, so we don't want this. This is no good at all long-term for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and let's get some more people out here. So the way we've got this set up right now in our household items, which is this store uh, in the center of your screen right now, we've got two cashiers here at all times from six all the way through midnight. So the way we get by that is now we're gonna move that up to three at all times. Again, we may not necessarily need three at all times, but we're gonna go ahead, bite the bullet and do that because our profit is doing great. All right, now this brings me to something that I've recently uh, figured out because I did some testing. I wanted to see how these relate and how they grow or stay static over time. And it turns out that the speed, patience and sociability numbers do not change over time, at least not in the time frames that I've checked, which is like 10 to 12, 15 days of game time. These do not change. However, if you hire a cashier, their skill will increase over time. And it looks like it's roughly one point of skill per day. Meaning that right now, Phil Fleming, if I hired him as my cashier, he starts out with 17.39 skill as a cashier. After 10 days, he would roughly have 27 skill as a cashier, whereas speed, patience, and sociability would not have changed. So it's very important to keep in mind. And from this point forward, what I'll really be looking for more than anything are these up here. Okay, these are the traits I'm looking for because I can grow these numbers at the bottom over time. And over time, they should become very good at their job. So what I'm looking for 
are the top three. And I think Phil, in this case, gives us the best combination of these. So we're going to go ahead and hire Phil. And Phil is going to come in at 6 o'clock. That's going to give us, for the first shift, our three. Now we need to hire yet another cashier. And let's see what we get. Not a lot to be had here. It looks like James is probably our best bet. He's not quite halfway in either of these. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and choose James reluctantly. And we're going to go ahead and put James to come in at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now that's going to give us three across the board during all of our open hours. And hopefully that will help out with a lot of what we see here. Because I definitely, definitely do not like this look. Okay, a few people in line is fine, but they seem to be stacking up way too much. And their facial expressions will start to tell you that they're getting uh, kind of irritated with the system here and having to wait so long. So with that in mind, let's I'll tell you what, I'm seeing three people in here already. Is that... That shouldn't be right, should it? We should have one at six, one at 14, which would be right. One at six, one at 14. Okay. So we're okay. I got a little confused there for a moment, but we're back. So now, as you can see right here, this guy, his face is not showing me that he's very happy. His satisfaction level is very ill. Same thing with the lady behind. So we're going to try and help out with that. Everywhere else seems to be okay. We're running a full stack of four cashiers here, two cashiers here. Some of this may be overkill, but I'd rather go a little bit of overkill given the fact that here we are, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon and we're already almost at 9,000 of profit. I don't want to skimp out on service in order to make it just a little bit of extra profit because I think that'll come back to bite me in the long run. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that alert. And I'm, at this particular point in time, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we'll be back momentarily just as soon as our research has caught up and we can get back to build. Uh, after many game days have passed, about six or so, five or six game days have passed. So if we come into our research, we can see that both the electronics and the media have now been researched and next will be appliances. And I'm gonna go ahead and let the night hours run through simply because this way, that way I will just be able to let everything just happen as it comes for the remainder of time because you know I have a hard time remembering to come in here and not allow the night hours to be the next thing that's researched. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that run its course. And we're gonna continue on with our plan. So. Our plan is to have an electronics store right here where we're going to have electronics and media. Now, as you can see, I've already done quite a bit of the building here, putting parking sp spots, and you can see the builder here that's working on the parking spots, finishing those off. I've got a place for trash pickup, uh, loading and unloading zone, and some employee parking that I've put around here. Unfortunately, in the game, it doesn't really seem like this is used very much at all. It seems like the employees just park anywhere and everywhere so that's mostly cosmetic i believe at this particular point in time but you can see inside the building which is i believe 25 by 9 something along those lines i wanted to make sure i had enough room to fit three registers in here just in case um, i'm thinking you know we got two here and that seems to be working out we got three here and that's working out so three here should be fine four even for as many products as we have and the grocery is working out. So, and we've got room for one more should we need it there. So I think three will be fine here. Uh, if not, then we'll have to figure something out. Uh, maybe expand the building, which by the way, you can do here. You would just go under build and under foundation or walls or whatever. And you simply build additional, uh, in this case, the easiest way to do it would probably be just build additional walls. If I wanted one additional space, come up here and build walls and then try to fill that in uh, and so on. So, but it can be done. Uh, it gets a little messy because now you have to, once you do that, you have to reorganize everything uh, because generally you're going to want to put 
uh, like here, things up against the wall. So I'd need to move these up or, or whatever. So uh, it is possible, but it can get kind of messy. Uh, at this point, uh, I've done the building for the most part, but I've not assigned anything. So we need to come in and assign our storage. Okay, now we've assigned our storage. We need to assign the storefront area. And now that gives us store number eight. Let's come in and manage that. And we see store number eight at the bottom down here. And let's go ahead and rename this. We're going to rename that electronics. And we need to assign storage. So we'll assign the storage that's here. So theoretically, you could have uh, you could assign any of these storages, really. Uh, so if you wanted to have a design that incorporated stores all around the sides and maybe a centralized storage area, you could definitely do that. But for now, we're going to go with the standard storage attached to the store. And let's go ahead and get all of that taken care of. Okay, so 6 o'clock to midnight. And let's go ahead and see what we can get here. So we set products and we don't want food. We want electronics. So we're going to put up laptops and these are on tables for now. And you just find that out. Trial and error is about the only way that I know. Uh, nothing really tells me that that's where they're going to be until I either try to build, go in the build menu and build tables, or I go into uh and actually build some and see what we can use for them. All right, looks like we're going to have just enough for these, but now we need our media. That takes care of of all of that, but there's no media out here. We don't have our, you know, our CDs or DVDs, anything like that. So we are going to need to build some additional objects. And I believe they're on shelves. Yeah, there they are. I see them about midway down. So we're going to take shelves. And let's do three of these. Let's see. How many do we need? I think it's actually four that we need. So I'm going to put that right there. And oops, let's go to select. And products on the shelf. We need media. Uh, we don't need the toys. We want books. We want DVDs, music CDs, and finally, video games. So now we have all of our products. So we have 11 products that are here. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and fast forward. We're, a little, we're getting a little bit ahead. We're almost done with night hours. Uh, that'll be good. I won't have to worry about that anymore. So we need to come in under manage, and now we need to hire some staff. Let's go ahead and hire a stocking clerk. And looks like really don't have many options here. I'm going to go with Richard here in the center. Okay, Richard is going to come in at six. Okay, that looks good. Let's hire another stock clerk. Oh, I like these stats. So we're going to go ahead and have Lynn come in and She'll come in at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And that way we'll always have a clerk here. Let's add some cashiers. And wow, not really seeing a whole lot that I want here. 55, 49, and 53. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get Carol because she's got a little bit of sociability, even though not much. Okay, she'll be coming in at 6 Another cashier. Let's see. Okay, these are a little bit better. Let's go ahead and hire them to come in at six. And let's go ahead and hire a couple more. And okay, I like these numbers as well as can be expected anyway. Okay, so we need one more cashier to have two here at all times and wow okay so we're back to let's cancel out of that any change no it doesn't look like it so we're stuck with with not much to choose from by the way of stats okay so let's go ahead and set her to come in 14 so now we're going to have two at all times and we've already got 
customers in. All right, so now we've got our stock, our, our stock on the shelves. They're ringing people up. All right, so far so good. We'll back off just a little bit so we can see all four of our stores, and we'll take a look at our profit. You can see profit had, after we had initially gotten up around 18,000, almost 19,000, it dropped back down and seemed to stabilize around 16,000. But now with an additional store that's up and running, looks like we're in for much better than that. All right, with that in mind, let's go ahead and hit the manage and we've got two janitors. I'm gonna go ahead, now that we have four stores, I'm gonna go ahead and up that. And let's see, what do we have here? What do we have? Looks like Megan is gonna be our best bet. And she is going to come in, let's have her come in. Uh, Let's have her come in at 10 o'clock. She'll be here overnight. And that way she can clean up anything that was left uh, by the last shift. We'll give that a shot and see how that works out. All right. So we're getting toward the end of the first day with the multiple shops here. And so far, things are looking absolutely great. We're looking like we're going to get close to doubling our profit from what it was before, we were at 18,700, now we're at 32,000. So a huge difference, huge difference there. You can see the, the numbers don't lie. We made a huge jump there. And I'm guessing it's going to continue to go into the, the next day since we didn't have quite a full day for this particular shop to be open. All right, let's come down to electronics and let's take a look at what we had. So we made $12,445 in this store alone. That's, that's hard to believe. All right. And let's, let's take a look at our research. All right. Night hours is done. And with that in mind, why don't we go ahead and dive in head first into hiring for the night shift? Let's go ahead and do that. So let's start out electronics. We're already here. Let's go ahead and hire a cashier. Do we have any cashiers that look good? It's not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and hire Don, and we're going to have Don come in. 22, so that's, and let's go ahead and change our opening times to be open all the time. Okay, so why is Don not Okay, it was throwing me off there. I thought this was zero, but it's actually one. Okay, we're going to start out with one at night. And let's go over to the grocery. And let's see, we're actually going to go, I believe, two here. Wow, the stats are just not good. Yikes. Okay, we're going to have, let's see, let's open up the zone. And come back over and have them come in at... 10 o'clock at night, and that will put them getting off at about 6 o'clock. So that ought to work out good. All right, let's head over to household items. Open up our, change our work opening hour to midnight. So basically we're open all the time now. And we need to hire a cashier. And, okay, Emily's not terribly bad. And we're going to put her at there we go. So she's coming in at 10 o'clock at night. Go over to our clothing store, to our zone, change our opening time, come back, hire a cashier. And okay, so it looks like Gregory is our best option. And Gregory is going to come in at 10 o'clock. All right, with that in mind, this will be our first opportunity to see what's going to happen from zero to six o'clock in the morning. And I'm actually 
Not quite sure. Uh, this ought to be interesting. My guess is that we're not going to have a whole lot of traffic, but I could be dead wrong about that. We may end up needing to hire more employees. So we'll let this run its course and take a look at our profit. Let's see. So far, so good. My guess is that we're going to end up leveling out somewhere around thirty-two dollars to $34,000 per day. And that is before we count in any income that we have during the midnight to 6 a.m. hours. We'll have to see how that works out. But uh, overall, if we're not making additional money by working that shift and, and staffing that, that particular shift, then we'll stop working it and we'll get rid of those particular workers. All right, so we're nearing 30000 of profit for this particular day. And it looks like we're probably going to be in that 32 to 33, 34 range for profit today. Let's see how our lines are doing. We got a little bit of line forming there. Okay, hardly any line forming here. Okay, research is going good. We need that research to go. We need it to get ahead of us because it's it's troublesome to have to sit around and wait before you can build again on the research. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we get early in the morning. Do we have a whole lot of traffic so far? Very little. And this is basically what I had expected. Okay, why do we have two people here? There are two people in clothing, and I'm not sure why. All right, we're scheduled to have one. So who are these people? Let's go ahead and zoom in on these and see what we've got going on. So we've got Alex and Darren. Okay, let's see when they're scheduled. So Alex comes in at six. That's interesting. Not sure why that would, would happen. Okay, and I forgot the other person's name, so we're gonna have to come back out. And Darren Patterson, okay. Darren Patterson is supposed to be, wow. I'm not sure why they're still here like that because they definitely should not be here. Interesting. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, otherwise, looks like we're doing pretty good. A line forming a little bit here in the grocery area, but not terrible. And keep in mind here in just a, a few moments, we'll have our regular crew coming in. And we should be in good shape. We don't have any stalkers here overnight, where, even though typically that's in a grocery store, that's when you would do all of the restocking. We don't have any of that going on overnight. All right, so far everything is looking good. We made 31300 yesterday and I think we're in good shape so far so good uh, one thing I did want to do that I've forgotten to do before I've noticed you know some of these things we'll get to later on you know fast food chain you've got restaurants you've got uh, some other items that will open up such as the washing machines and dryers the appliances type stuff and we've got a movie theater that we can unlock but you know down here we've got a restroom and, and various options in here right now it doesn't seem like we really need that because all of our shops are uh, the types of shops that you would be in and out of very quickly but I noticed that we've got things like a pinball machine we've got fountains and an ATM I'm not sure exactly what function these serve but one thing I do want to have is a trash can I'm gonna go ahead and put a trash can in each one of these stores and let's go ahead and put one there put one there kind of gets in the way there doesn't it so we're gonna put it over here out of the way and let's go ahead and speed things up I'm not sure if these serve any purpose if they're simply for decoration or maybe in the future they will add to you know maybe the the beauty stat 
and attract customers or make customers feel more comfortable, something along those lines to increase your profits. Uh, but we'll find out as time goes on. Let's see what we've got. And down here we're missing, you know, even with three people in here, the lines are backing up. And what's happening to us, you can see that, and I believe this is what's going on, is that as we add additional stores, additional products, that we're getting more and more people in. And unfortunately, there's really no way to continue expanding. Now, here at this building, we could easily expand and, and make this building wider or taller, depending on how you look at it. But these other buildings, there's just no way. You can't plan that far ahead for that type of thing, or at least I didn't. So we're going to have to figure some things out because that is, wow, that's hard to believe. Okay, here, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead, and I can't even believe I'm having to do this. But we are going to go ahead and, where is it at? Checkout counter. We're going to add another checkout in here, which means that, Along with that, where's our grocery? There it is. We're going to need to hire a couple of cashiers. And, okay, I like the stats here for patients and so forth. So we're going to have Leo is going to come in at 6 o'clock. And then let's hire one more cashier. And, unfortunately, we didn't quite get the stats I was wanting. But Vivian appears to be the best overall. And we'll have Vivian come in there. So we're still only going to have one overnight. But that's okay uh, for now. We'll see how, how things go. And if we need to hire more, we'll hire some more. So things are really moving now in the game. And at this point, I think we're going to call this an episode. We've gotten a lot done. Our profit, you can see here, we're at $31,000, $32,000 per day of profit and we've still got some more stores and some more products to get to in future episodes so thank you for joining me for episode five and stay tuned for more of our let's play series of another brick in the mall